All right, hey guys, this is Top Fin, and today I'm gonna do revisit. It's excuse those wipes. I just cleaned this. Um, the home light trim and edge that I picked up from a guy off um, Let Go for 15 bucks. Um, so what I did was he the fuel lines were actually the problem with it, or where. So they were all rotted. They were non-existent. So, but he said he only used it a few times, and I can believe that. Look how clean this gas tank is literally like brand new only problem was the vent in the gas broke and i glued it but how long is glue gonna last you don't know it could be a week it could be a month so i just bought a new cap this is for a four cycle um ryobi trimmer but it says gas only gasoline only but just ignore that if you do that you will fuck it up you will seize the engine and it's not worth fixing so always run two cycle with the proper ratio to gas to oil now this again, I'm just gonna treat this like this is a brand new video and I never showed you it, but I already have. This is a uh, July 2005 model actually. Oh wow. No, it's not, it's a May. Yeah, it's a May. Um, and also the primer. I just replaced it just on principle because it came, they actually gave me the fuel line kit. It's one of those you get from, from the store. And of course I mixed match these, but what do you expect? Oh, I did that a few times actually. Where this is the return line. So it's gonna return there, and this is the uh, uh, fuel filter line. So. But when I finally got it done, and I realized something, it would not wanna run on run position. It would run on half choke, but not on run. So I left it like that for a few weeks. I used it a few times actually. And I just put it on half choke. By the way, this hardware is kind of loose, and I I just lost this bolt, so I just put that, and I tighten it as hell as hard as I can. Here, I just tighten this. This handle was here, but this thing is like so small. Like when you see this, you'll be like, "This is a small ass trimmer." Like I have an Echo, the shaft is like right here. I have my Echo SRM 225, but this is uh this features a zip start carburetor, which. I kind of like the recoil on it, but I do not like this as a direct drive and it has no, which means it has no clutch. So this head will always spin. See? Even when you pull the rope. Um, and the recoil is here, not in the back. So it's kind of a, but it's old classic design, I would say. This has a zip start carburetor and this had a trim and edge, the part, but I just took it off because I'm not going to use it. And, uh, I reloaded the string with my Echo Black Diamond, but I, I just did this and it seems to be a little better coming out because the other stuff was, a little, even though it's a .95, it's too thick. Um, but I'll do some trimming. I actually have a corner I'm going to trim with it, which I'm going to have to treat my lawn really soon. But And I used those, which I'm going to throw away, um, to scrub it all up. It was already pretty nice, pretty decent. but. I'm gonna treat this like this is a cold start. You prime it seven times, even though I just had it running, and I finally got to tuning it. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera. And we're gonna turn this corner. Right here, guys. The corner. See the lonely man there on the corner? Nah, fuck that. Let's um, pick these rods up. I don't know. These are from my, like, and that's also needs to go in the garbage. So. We kept it just temporarily. And so let's put this here. This is a really weedy corner, by the way. I just bought some more. I'll buy, I have a lot of weed killer, but I just bought some more. So let me see. Are you in the camera? Because I want to be a good camera person. And uh, oh, one more thing with the uh, uh, carburetor. Like I said, the only one to run in half choke, but. What I did is I kind of figured out you can turn these screws with some pliers and I lowered this down. And then today I got to doing this and this was the problem. This is why it would not run. So I turned it out. I think I turned it out like one or two screws and it seems to run better on run. Doesn't run as good on half choke, but run. So now it's not bogging anymore. It has a pretty decent throttle response. Not the best, but decent. So. Let me start it up right here. Home light trim and edge. About, let me squeeze the throttle. It fired. the problem. 
problem where the uh, it would only run in half choke. Just had to adjust the carburetor. I thought oh, I was about to change it. I was like, then I realized, let's let's play with that carb today. And this was just like a pain in the ass to get out, but once it did, it worked. And it seems to work pretty nice. So this is fixed officially. Now nothing's wrong with it. And I kind of like these home lights. People are giving shit about home lights. They say it's a bad brand, but if but most people, they say this is a $70 trimmer. They don't care. They're not going to maintain it. What they do is they leave the gas in there without fuel stabilizer for long periods of time. And what happens is it gums up your carburetor, causing it not to start. That's why many people, but if you're going to buy like a $300 trimmer, of course you're going to care. You're not just going to, you're going to look up how to maintain it. So most likely. So this is, like I said, a direct drive. We're going to trim this corner. I was going to do it with my Echo, but let's do a demo. I'm going to put you up here on a good camera angle. That's pretty good. I didn't even have to actually squeeze it due to the fact that it's a direct drive and it has enough power to power through it but I do squeeze it when it's like really thick shit and yes it's splattered but I usually not going to really use this on my one I might use it for free clients clients that don't pay me or like they just want me to trim but they're not going to pay me so I don't mind trimming it's really fun actually but so this is what I use because why would I use this when I have a $200 Echo $15 trimmer no, I keep this in my back. I'm not going to show you it, but I have a mower there. I actually had three mowers. I sold one for 70 and I scrapped the other one. I took, because the deck had a rusty wheel, the wheel rusted off. And I'm actually still using it as a mower. Then I just took off the motor and, yeah. I mean, I have the blade from it, but I might, I'm looking to buy. Hey, this same guy who sold me this has a $20 Bolens he's going to sell me. It's uh, brand new. He only used it for a year, but same thing. He left the gas in it and it fucked it up so i'm gonna have to clean the carburetor and hopefully that goes well because it's only 20 bucks and it'll have great resale value honestly if i don't want it but i like push mowers i don't know why a lot of people give shit for them but yeah this corner looks pretty good and this is what happened was this was not seated so i put some chunks where i put sod down and yeah this is really messy guys sorry about that this is what it should look like right here i'm gonna but this is like not really a time to treat your lawn. Yeah, what do you think, guys? Look, I don't think this is a bad trimmer, actually. I kind of like it. Just because it's a home light doesn't mean it's bad. It's not always bad. What's wrong with it? Let's do a warm start really quick. To show you. I'm glad I fixed that issue. But someone said if you run it on half choke, it pollutes a lot. So maybe I'm saving the environment. Who knows? <laughs> Sometimes it bogs, but mostly it runs good. It could be that the muffler, I might have to change the spark rest, not to change, but like clean it. Yeah, this is really only used a few times. You can see this rope is not really frayed. Uh, only fact is the fuel line's rotted, and I guess that's just nature. Even though he ran, he had, he stored it without gas in it. Like if he stored it for like ten years or three years on end with uh, gas in it, that's really gonna mess the carburetor up. Probably have to, you might have to clean it really deeply because the gas will varnishize. Yeah, I use this cheap cheap Rhino Tough shit line, 0.95. I was using Echo Black Diamond because I really like that, but I had this, so why not? It's just a curved shaft. I wish it was not, because I like straight shafts. This is another project for my neighbor. He bought it for 10 bucks, and I replaced the carb, and it started running good. 
because when I adjust the carburetor, but doesn't want to run anymore. I'm gonna put. I might have to put more gas in it. So I keep rambling on. I love this home light. You're gonna do some good work for me. I know you will. And the air filter, I took it out and it basically disintegrated, so I just put my own air filter in there. And those are the starting instructions, and this is the stop button, which is kind of ghetto, honestly. Because sometimes when I push it, it will like not, it will like conk out, but it will not fully stop. And sometimes I can see an electrical shock there, but it's kind of classic. So I might do some trimming. See you guys, this is Top Fun.